The fair is back. The street fair is back. The 51st annual winter street fair kicked off today at 10 a.m. The weather is beautiful. I would like to be on TV, sir. On a typical year, we usually get about 300,000 people throughout the weekend. Have some food, do some holiday shopping, visit the local businesses on 4th Avenue, and maybe even catch Santa. <laughs> This is my first street fair, so I'm from the East Coast, from Boston, and I'm so excited to be here. She's my co-worker. She told me <laughs> that it's not Christmas until we go. I didn't really believe her, and now I, I, I understand. And I understand. Hooky from work. And we're playing hooky from work, so we're here. Hey, guys. <laughs> this guy's ready for a beer. Start the fair with a beer. Get your cold brew here. Get your morning brew. It's beer o'clock. Anytime. <laughs> well, the street fair is back after a two-year hiatus. Stay hydrated. We're with the West University Neighborhood Association. We are the largest historic preserved zone in the state of Arizona. All the neighborhoods are allowed to operate beer booths. Those neighborhoods that are impacted by the street fair themselves. It is our biggest fundraiser uh, of the year. We have the primo spot this year. 7th Street and 4th Avenue is the highest grossing beer booth location at the entire fair. Get your beer here, it's important to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, that's what I like to say. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Everyone has got so much pent up demand for getting out and getting out in the sun in Arizona. It's just gonna be pandemonium. It's gonna be like a hoot nanny of crazed javelinas. This is all we do. We travel around a lot of different states. We go to California, we go to Minnesota, Wisconsin, and to not be able to do that, uh, it hurts us a lot. This is actually our, probably one of our biggest shows during the winter season. We've been here for quite a long time, I believe seven, eight years already. After COVID, we're glad to be back and seeing familiar faces. A lot of regular has come by already. We love it, man. Can't be happier than this. This is my second time trying it and, and the second time I've been having success with it. So I come back because of the people and because of how big the show is. Sometimes some of these are lost in the cupboards and they forget that they're there. And so with me one day thinking, what can I do with them, you know, to give them or upcycle them again, I thought of the wind chimes. I, I was disabled recently within the last two years. So this is makes, gives me extra money. I like doing what I do. And being here after two years, it makes me happy too. I bought this iron artwork. Um, I just bought a house here in Tucson, so I'm staying for a while. And I'm planning to paint my front door this turquoise color, so I thought that it would look really good on the outside of my house. The work and the effort and the blood, sweat, and tears that go into your own business, so supporting local artists, local vendors like this is, is really special. Did you guys want to take a picture yeah. with Santa? You want to stand right here and one over here? Cheese! Cheese! What do you guys want for Christmas? I want, have been wanting a toy drone. A toy drone? Uh -huh, with oh, yeah. Camera. With a camera, too? <laughs> wow. As far as being a Santa in Tucson, it's a little bit difficult. I had four events last year that I did in Tucson. The year before that, I had 16. This year, I'm doing about 20. So last year was a big uh, uh, lull in the business. I wanted to tell you the kitty's name. Tell me the kitty's name, tell me. Pepe. Pepe? Oh my gosh, that's a great name. With the pandemic happening, I've lost two family members myself. So it's been very difficult. But the thing we need to do is just take care of each other, love each other, and, and always be there for each other, whether it be on the streets or at home or with your friends at work. Look out for one another because that's all we have is, is each other right now. Thank you.